Good day to everyone! This is the fourth lesson in the course Calculation in Lira Supper, and in this lesson I will introduce to you main types of stiffnesses in Lira Supper program. To perform analysis of a problem in Lira Supper, it is necessary to set stiffness on each element. In other words, we have to set material properties for each finite element. In Stiffness and Restraints tab, find the button Material Properties. In this window, click on the button Add. In the right window, you can see standard types of sections, which are used for reinforced concrete beams and columns. Select section rectangular bar with double click. In this window, we have to set physical and geometrical parameters for our beam. Let's assume that beam is reinforced concrete with class of concrete C20-25. In the first line, we have to set the value of modulus of elasticity. Type 3 million tons per meter in square. Then type sections dimensions. Width 12 cm, height 20 cm. And in last line type the value of unit weight of material 2.5 tons per meter in cube. To see the section with your parameters, click on the button draw. Pay attention that loads which we have set in previous lesson will act along axis Z1 and construction bending will occur in this plane. Click apply. And in the left window you can see first type of stiffness. Now in the right window select second tab steel sections. Here you can see different types of steel sections of beams, columns and elements of truss. Let's select double channels type. In the window that opens, in first line select profile channel with parallel flange edges. In second line select 12P and click OK. In third tab you can see composite reinforced concrete and steel sections, but for this lesson we don't need to set them. Now select fourth tab and here you can see stiffnesses for plate volume and numerical finite elements. Select plates with double click. In this window we have to set physical and geometrical parameters for our plates. Let's assume that we set parameters for cast in situ reinforced concrete slab. In first line type the value of modulus of elasticity for concrete class C20-25 3 million ton per meter in square. Then type the value for Poisson's ratio. For reinforced concrete, it is 0.2. Let thickness of slab be 20 cm. And unit weight of material 2.5 tons per meter in cube. Click apply. Also, let's set stiffness for solids. Let's assume that our solid is steel. Type the values of modulus of elasticity for steel 210 million ton per meter in square, Poisson's ratio 0.28, and unit weight of material 7.85 tons per meter in cube. Click apply. Now let's set stiffness for one node finite elements. There are a special type of stiffness for each one node finite element. Select Stiffness Numerical for FE56 with double click. In this window, we need to set stiffnesses along or over axis. You can set it here in this window if you have pile test data, or program can, can calculate pile stiffness. Click on this button. In first step, you need to set physical and geometrical properties of a pile. In second tab, geological data of your construction site. But for our lesson, let's assume that pile has stiffness along axis Z, uh, for instance 500 tons per meter. Click apply. In left window, you see that necessary stiffnesses have been set. Next step is to set each type of stiffness on corresponding element. In window stiffness and materials, Select first type of stiffness from the list with double click. Now this type of stiffness is active. 
Click on the button Select Elements and select Bars. In the window click Apply. Do same operations with other types of stiffnesses and elements. By the way, if you will select different types of finite elements and will try to set inappropriate stiffness, program will show you a message that this type of stiffness is inappropriate for this type of finite element. Elements without stiffness become red. But don't be afraid. Select appropriate type of stiffness and continue to set it on the elements. To check elements type of stiffness, use known command information. Don't forget to save your problem and see you on the next lessons.